had more wins than the entire British training contingent. What's been the reaction back home in Ireland? Oh, it's been incredible. Um, look, current situations that, that the world is living in at the moment um, has obviously meant we're... Uh, I, I'm currently on a five-day um, uh, quarantine, so um, you know. Hopefully, when that's over, we'll get to we'll get to see a few people and things. But uh, you know, my phone hasn't stopped hopping. <laughs> I think my mum and dad's phone is the same, and uh, just so many good wishes. And yeah, I, I when I was over in Chetland for the, for the four days, you're you know you're in a kind of a bubble, and you're you're just focusing on the next day. It's it's a relentless four days, so. Yeah, I, I really got a shock when I came home as to the actual mass of the reaction that, that it got, you know. Now, of course, it's not just you. There's Bryony Frost, Holly Doyle. Of course, we're seeing, you know, women making their names, really making their names as jockeys. I know you would just say that you're a jockey like anyone else, but do you appreciate that perhaps out there you might be inspiring more girls to ride? Definitely. I think when I started, um, you know, when I entered the weigh room, it was Nina Carberry and Katie Walsh and their achievements definitely inspired me to um, to do what I'm doing today. So, you know, I, I hope I can. Well, I think you are certainly doing that. Before I let you go, I have to ask you one thing. Why did the Irish horses do so much better last week? What was going on? The, uh, the elusive question. <laughs> um, <laughs> I... Uh, I think we're just better. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Simple. Rachel, I love that. Uh, congratulations on a fantastic <laughs> week, Rachel. It's been a joy watching you, and I hope you enjoy some time to celebrate now. Rachel Blackmore, thank you very much indeed.